Hi there, Joka here for a pocket full of happiness and today I'm gonna show you how I created these two cards with one of my new stamp sets called For Mum. Um, this stamp set has a few uh, floral images, leaves um, and a bunch of sentiments for Mother's Day or just for Mum in general. Now I created uh, some masking stencils for... Um, so I have these images on the uh, packaging, on the back of the packaging, just to to help you, um, you know, just to give you ideas what you can create with the stamp set. And I actually designed this stamp set with that particular card in mind that I'm going to create now. And this is a one layer card with a lot of masking. So... I'm just trying to figure out what works best but in this video I'm using um, I created this mask stencils from stencil material with a cut file um, the cut file will be available on my website so you can um, buy that and it will actually have um, three different sizes I will talk about this more in the in another video probably in the release video which I haven't uh, done yet when I'm doing the voiceover on this one but I'll try to remember to do that anyway so uh, when you are creating a one layer card with masking the most important thing is that you think about what you want to have in the foreground because those are the things that you have to stem first so I want to have the flowers in my foreground so that's what I'm doing now I'm just um, stamping the flowers um, you while well, I'm trying to show every ink that I'm using I'm using all the new inks today um, but I will also link it link them in the description oh excuse me I'm using uh, pink fresh for the yellow um, ink but the rest is all to new so I'm stamping the flowers I'm stamping four flowers and these are very simple images um, and well you can call them layering stamps but they are just really simple layers and what you just saw me do here is um, treat the stamps with um, just you know rubbing an eraser over them these are new stamps and for uh, I always do this when the stamps or oh, photopolymer stamps um, are new just so that the ink has a grip on them if that makes sense so that it doesn't pull um, up and the stamped image is not gonna be blotchy okay so now that I have the flowers I'm trying to figure out what to stamp next which is the so let's say the second layer um, in the background and these are gonna be these um, uh, aqua or pool color leaves these also have two um, layers to them and okay so I'm using this easy dots this is um, a temporary adhesive um, to keep my stencils in place or masks and it's yeah it doesn't work well um, but I didn't want to add another adhesive because I didn't want to damage my um, stamped images so this stencil material is quite thick I cut it smaller than the stamped image but even so I have to press down really really hard to get into those you know to get close to the um, already stamped image and yeah it doesn't work perfectly but i found a better um, solution to this problem which is um, another product it's called uh, masking magic from gina k and i created a cut file for that specifically that is actually exactly the same size as the um as the stamped images because um it's that is such a thin material that if you if you cut it smaller then you have like the you stamp the images all over um, each other and 
the other yeah the other issue i had with the stem um, the stencil material is that once you layer like here i have two layers already they are super thick so it's really hard to work with so um yeah i'm just stamping my leaves and the second layer is just a fun pattern and then once these are done i only have some um green leaves to add those are a different shape and then yeah most of the card is done it's not uh, it's not a hard uh, thing to do it's not complicated it really it just takes some time to you know you just have to think about what you want to stamp first um the image basically what i did here and why I create those uh, images for the um, packaging is because it gives you an idea if if you don't you know if you don't know what to do with it first. And if you look at the the graphic, then you can just easily follow um, the steps because you see what is um, in the foreground, what is in the background. So it's easy and you don't have to think about it, which is why this card was not too, it didn't take me too long to stamp, which it would if I, if I had to think about it, you know. So that's why I like to um, create those graphics. For, it's a help for me as well, uh, you know, when I test the product, um, not to having to spend days on um uh, on that face so yeah so this is gonna be um, close to the end already and then I will only add a sentiment to to the card and this is very unusual for me because I, I really like layers and layers of things but I just wanted to create something different and you know, even though this is a one layer card, um, I think because of the, the you know, because of the, uh, the way the image is, I think it, it gives it, um, interest. I, I don't know. I really like this image. So yeah. And now I'm, uh, gonna stamp the sentiment and <laughs> just so that I don't mess up the whole background that I worked, um, so long on. Um, I'm adding a scratch uh, cardstock just to see if I lined it up um, correctly and as you saw I didn't so it's a good thing I didn't just wing it and stamp it directly on the background. Okay so as you see it's not perfect um, there are some overlapped um, little bit yeah, like there this little piece but that really doesn't bother me it, it kind of adds to this illustration I think okay so on to the next card this is also on the back of the packaging and this one doesn't require any masking I wanted to create one example with masking and one that doesn't need any mask so okay I'm also using pink fresh uh, ink for the uh, brown uh, color and I stamped my sentiment first because I wanted this to be in the middle and then I can just um, stamp the flowers all around it and like I said these are simple images but they do take a few layers so there's a few layers to each of them so it does take time to create it um, because unfortunately you you can just stamp one at a time unless you um you just use one color and then you can stamp several um, at a time so while i'm building this background i'm trying to be mindful of the placement like here i'm trying to see where i want to add these branches so um you know i always check before i stamp the next image if I'm gonna have a space where I imagined it to be but I'm closely following that um, graphic on the packaging in the end um, you know that's a, it's scaled down so um, 
just uh, be careful. It's not going to be, it might not turn out exactly the same way, but that's okay. I mean, that's the nature of a handmade card, right? Uh, they are all different and all is good. So um, using two different pinks for the flowers, but then one yellow and from, you know, it's in the end, it's not going to be like uh, the graphic on the packaging because I misplaced something. And then, of course, the whole design is um, different. And what I didn't notice that one of the yellow flowers I only used once. I mean, it doesn't bother me eventually, but um, I'm just mentioning that because I guess I got distracted. I didn't, um, or the other shape fit better maybe I don't quite remember so anyway that's all there is to it so this is just the first layer and then there's um, another two layers to the pink ones and then for the yellow I think there's only one and then the middle pieces um, I'm not sure why I left all of this in the video because, um, I mean, I guess this is not very helpful and not, there's not much to talk about, but, um, I hope this gives you an idea. Um, I don't know what I was showing there. If I made a mistake, maybe I'm not sure. Anyway, so, um. Let's get back to the cut file now that I have uh, time to talk about it. Um, as you know, I don't have coordinating dies. Um, I'm not sure if I will ever have, but um, somebody recommended that I create at least coordinating cut files. I don't know, maybe it helps some of you. I do have a, um, a silhouette cameo, so for me it's useful. Obviously, it's not going to be as nice as uh, a die would um, be because that has really nice beautiful edges and um, an electronic machine just doesn't do that but anyway it's going to be available and what I wanted to mention is that the cut file will have three different sizes um, one for creating um, like ephemera pieces let's say so that you have a little bit of white edge around the flowers or the images um, just like you would have with a coordinating die then there is a size for um, what I used for the um, the masking stencils but I also write a text there that the um, result is not as good as with the um, other size that is for the um, to, to use with the masking magic or anything like um, I don't know maybe you can buy some uh, post-it kind of thing that is really thin um, I don't have it so I don't know I didn't test it with that but I imagine it would work the same way so I have these three sizes um of cut files in one cut file all right so that one I messed up I I mean they are really forgiving anyway but uh, there is a way that uh, that they are layered so that one I messed up anyway um, now I'm just gonna finish them up turn them into cards and uh, here I'm just creating my um, card base I'm like 98% of the time I am using um, a top folding um, card base. I don't know why I prefer this to be honest. Um, but I never kind of do side folding cards. Um, all right, so if you know, know me, you know I love my twine. So I'm adding that because there's not much I can add to this card uh, and of course the other thing that I like to add is enamel dots um, just to the flower centers and I will do that here as well 
you know, if it's a one layer card, I feel like I still want to have a little bit of different texture and dimension. And these are the two, two things I, <coughs> excuse me, I normally um, go with. I'm sure you, there's other things you can do, but these are kind of my staples that I always do. Um, I'm always, um, I always glue down the uh, twine in the middle just so that it, you know it stays in place but there's really no other reason um, for doing that and yeah I'm adding my animal dots here and then I'm gonna do one more thing uh, with these cards and that's a little bit of gold splatters because that's always good right gold gold is good so yeah and that's it. There you have it. And I really hope that you like this new stamp set and maybe you want to give it a try. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I will be making some other cards with the other new stamp sets. And I hope to see you there as well. Thank you very much again. Bye bye.